I think it would have to be Beckham and Wilkinson, Adidas, uh, learning each other's sports. There was something very natural about that campaign and very humorous and the timing couldn't have been better because I think you got two sporting icons at the very top of their game. Um, there have been many brilliant campaigns but that one sticks in the mind as something where it just all worked, the ingredients all came together really nicely. I think Britain winning the 2012 Olympic bid has to be because it's set in motion any number of things which I think are going to go beyond 212 and leave a legacy for sport in this country. Uh, it has to be a standout in terms of the investment it's created, the excitement, the opportunity to promote this country's sport and this country overall. So um, I don't think there's anything bigger than that. It's a collective memory and it would be the Beijing Olympics of 2008 which I thought were astonishing. Um, if you love sport you have to love the Olympics. Um, we love winning, um, uh, us Brits, and, and that was you know, the, 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 the Olympics of 19 gold medals. And there were just so many fantastic moments there beyond the British wins, um, Usain Bolt and his 100 metres um, uh, uh, world record time. Um, and if anything, looking at the, the, the British side of things particularly, I think that the dominance of the British cycling team and how I think Beijing really started the renaissance of cycling in this country. So it had to be for me brilliant memories, a great event and, and one that we've got to work hard to top in 2012. For me it has to be Nadal. I think he's an exceptional sportsman. Um, he's brilliant at what he does and gifted but he's equally tenacious and that is one hell of a combination uh, in a sportsman. You know, to be good is one thing, but also to ne never give up, never say die is another. And yet he's blessed with this humility which makes him just such a likeable sportsman as well and I think he ticks all the boxes. Um, my missus also fancies him and I'm even gonna forgive him that, so he must be good. <laughs> <laughs>